We often see work breakdown structures depicted in this visual format, kind of a, as a hierarchy, where the project is across the top, the different functions or portions of the project are underneath, and then the individual, individual activities or tasks listed below that. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to take a work breakdown structure in this visual format and convert this into a work breakdown structure using Microsoft Project. And this is particularly important for more complex uh, projects that will have more detailed work breakdown structures that are really difficult to illustrate in that graphic format. So what I've done here is I'm take, I've taken this uh, family reunion example and we're going to convert that uh, to a work breakdown structure in Microsoft Project. So what I did here is I took our family reunion project and I identified the different kind of groups or functions of the project and then the tasks within each of those as well. And so with those in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tr create this hierarchy uh, just using this indentation option in Microsoft Project. So we begin by entering all the tasks as I did already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to indent each of these um, to, to match this hierarchy that we have established in this visual model. So family reunion is the top. Below the family reunion is location, food, and invitations. Below or within location are the individual location tasks, the food tasks, or the invitation tasks. So what we'll do is with the family, family reunion at the top, we will select all the other lines after that and indent them so that they all are a um, subcomponent of family reunion. And then we say that the task L1, L2, and L3, those are um, those represent the individual tasks for the location part of our project. So we're going to highlight those three and then indent those and do the same thing for food and invitations. So again, it's just this indent task. And what we're doing is we're creating subtasks or kind of a hierarchy of tasks as a result. One really nice thing though is then you end up with a roll-up structure. So then as I, um, in the future, as I add durations for each of these tasks, um, the, the sum, summation of those will uh, add up for the, the component of the project as well as the overall project. So now what I've done is I've created this um, project hierarchy or a work breakdown structure in this hierarchy format in Microsoft Project using these roll-up tasks. And you can actually compress them by clicking on those triangles or can click on them again and expand them and you can also compress it at the at the project level too. So this gives you a, a different way to view the project and for more com complex projects this uh, this Microsoft project way of, of doing work breakdown structures makes a lot more sense uh, than the graphical format. Graphical formats are nice to see, but as they become larger, more complex, they're d more difficult to create uh, and to share. Um, and this, uh, this project format allows us to maybe focus in on one area or another. So this is the quick way to create a work breakdown structure in Microsoft Project.